Uh, anyway, but uh, anyway. l- let's carry on with the matters that are <laughs> happening in Migori County. You see that on the front page of uh, the standard, you see that Obado mystery family and missing two billion shillings. This is a governor that uh, you've had a lot to say about, but of course now the ACC are investigating anti graft agency says Migori County paid billions for services not rendered while top officials, including governor, received kickbacks. You'll see their summary of 461 million shillings, uh, which is uh, was paid to miss of limited amount of money paid for branding Obado's office and uh, be asking about uh, how much it would cost to brand an office of a governor. Then 247 million shillings was paid to three companies that is Magdeburg, Contractors Limited, Sol Media Services Limited and Macro Farm uh, Pharmaceuticals. The ACC says they supplied nothing for that. Then at uh, Tina Services Limited uh, were paid 114 million shillings for supplying furniture consultancy and branded uh, motorcycles. Of course, that story is given detailed coverage on uh, page six. And I'm just wondering, um, this is a governor who just came from custody facing the case of uh, murder of uh, Sharon Otieno. And now this is uh, coming out. I'm just wondering, uh, he has been in office for, this is the sixth year, if I'm not mistaken, for almost two billion shillings to be embezzled or utilized in the wrong manner. Um, where do you place this? Are, are these allegations that uh, have basis or is it uh, what people may say that uh, some forces are trying to fight the governor? Okay, um, to, 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 to be fair to the governor, um, so that I don't appear to be very personal to him, mm-hmm. Uh, he's had a very bad last few months. Mm-hmm. I hope he overcomes them. Um, but our matters corruption, our matters corruption. And uh, I think the president himself has uh, of late said that his legacy will be hinged on the fight against corruption. This does not start only with his deputy, and he said it would start with his deputy. Mm -hmm. I hope they begin the process of the lifestyle audit. Mm -hmm. But this cascades to the governors. I think he's not the only governor Mm -hmm. who is on the watch list. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, The information that I have is that these matters have been on the watch list for a long time Mm -hmm. and only have been delayed in the process of EACC internal politics and things like that. Mm -hmm. There are many other governors uh, who's under, uh, who are uh, under the same watch. But, I mean, looking at it from a layman's perspective, not even as a lawyer, mm-hmm. if you look at the amount of money that are flashed here, and of course he has the right uh, uh, of presumption of innocence, I'm sure you will, you will agree with me, mm-hmm. the monies that are being put here, on the face of it, and as lawyers we always say, prima, prima facie, facie. Mm-hmm. on the face of it there is something to look at, or they say, face of it, there is something for uh, the public uh, and the, uh, who, who are the taxpayers mm-hmm. to be concerned that the kind of money that we would use 461 million just to brand. Mm-hmm. What I've been to Migori, I, I, I ran through that campaign, and there are lots of dilapidated roads, lack of dispensaries. The infrastructure there is terrible, mm-hmm. if you ask me. And it's a very big county geographically. Mm-hmm. So 461 million, in my view, mm-hmm. if that money was available, granting him his presumption of innocence, right. I think it would change a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Dr. <laughs> Pamela, who just almost lost her life, mm-hmm. partly uh, the issue was the, the, the the, the state of the roads, if mm-hmm. you put into consideration other things. Right. Um, you look at these other things about consultancy and motorbikes, um, 114 million. I don't know what the core business of the county is. I think I would place, if I was the governor, mm-hmm. more money into health and infrastructure. Mm-hmm. But then again, I want to repeat, mm-hmm. these are allegations. When uh, matters are brought, and I'm sure we all run our CDFs, right. and the auditor is always all over the place, Sometimes receipts and uh, returns haven't been made. We have to give him that opportunity to be able to uh, respond to this uh, mm-hmm. the, the mm-hmm. situation. Yeah. There, there, there are details, just before you go, Moshimo um, Munene, that um, Otieno, one of the persons that has been mentioned here, was employed on September 15 as a pharmacist at the Uriri Subcounty Hospital. Uh, the commission claimed he registered his two companies in 2016, yet the money was said to have been disbursed in 2014. So uh, it would appear that uh, a company is paid before it's registered. I'm just wondering, when you look at uh, the whole concept of devolution and how uh, counties are able to utilize the resources that they have, what is the threshold, or rather how rampant is the abuse so that you have such kind of money uh, Mm -hmm. used to support cronies without necessarily supplying services? What I want to say about this man, Obado, because uh, I think we are are giving him so much benefit of doubt because he just outside Nabil, mm. 
Well, I'm not the case that you are saying innocent till proven guilty. There's two billion again he lost. Innocent till proven guilty. It's a, it a man I'm starting to lead so much about his life that I've not forgiven him yet for the other story. So what I, what I used to say ab about this man categorically is one, some, if you look at, at 461 million used for branding, do you know how much money a member of parliament receives? I'm sure my brother or Ruch, by the time you finish five years' time, you won't have received this money. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. To develop the whole constituency, <laughs> collectively, five yes. years. Yeah. So what, the governors are, use, are, are really misusing money for this country. When the president talked last time and said, so far, we have devolved to county government one trillion. Mm -hmm. When you go looking for that one trillion, because Obando, Obando should have been ashamed yesterday following the deputy president to an hospital mm -hmm. where the deputy president said this hospital is so dilapidated, we'll give 20 million to try and make it up. We are talking about the deputy president giving 20 million to try and make up an hospital when we are talking about 461 million misused Precisely. for bloody. And Obando is there crapping. Because we are getting some, I think governors now need to style up. Mm -hmm. Because Kenyans cannot continue paying tax and we lose money like this. <coughs> we say he's innocent till proven guilty, but as a country, we need to accept that the levels of corruption now are unacceptable. They are just unacceptable. Of course, the ACC will have uh, their moment to do the investigations and prosecute the matter in court because I see that uh, Justice <laughs> Hedwig Ogmudi yesterday gave the ACC models to find and serve them with the court papers uh, which detail how 14 companies owned by six members of one family illegally received 1.9 uh, billion shillings. So uh, even uh, the accused persons or even uh, whether it's uh, Governor Kothobado will have their day to respond. But I'm just wondering, uh, this is money that was used in the previous term. We are now in 2018. This is the mm. second term of devolution. And uh, ESS is still trying to catch up with what happened in the previous term. So how do we ensure that uh, whatever your governor is y using funds on today is in the right manner so that you do not have to come two years down the line? We are trying to fight back and see how they utilize resources. First of all, I, I, I need to be very cautious uh, not to be uh, uh, wrongly quoted. Mm -hmm. Uh, on this very topic of uh, Obado because I find the headline today a bit more suspicious mm -hmm. owing to the fact that uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> out of his uh, recent association <laughs> with uh, so Raila must have <laughs> questioned the, 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 the deputy <laughs> president and uh, learning from the best of br uh, political branding I think <laughs> this headline in as much as the content could be true the headline for today probably has been occasioned by very powerful forces who are not what very happy forces? with him. What powerful forces? Obado mystery, again, family, and missing to But, uh, but again, no, no, that is now, I'm just talking about it coming now. Okay, all right. Uh, coming today. Yeah, I am yeah, not okay. really against the, the contents of okay. the, uh, the topic. Mm -hmm. But having said that, it is indeed very true that we, we as a country, we need to come up with serious measures mm -hmm. uh, to curb this theft. Uh, especially on uh, the touches uh, governors. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you it is not just Obado, just like my colleagues have said. Mm -hmm. These people have become instant multi-billionaires. You've actually seen, and of course these are allegations, and as we said earlier, as my colleague said earlier, there is that presum presumption of innocence until uh, proven guilty out of our uh, common law uh, way of operations in, a in this country. Mm -hmm. that in as much as they are just allegations. But it does not really beat logic for one to say mm -hmm. that a company registered today, mm -hmm. you know, tomorrow wins a million dollar contract mm -hmm. to do some work in a county and the next month it's paid. Mm -hmm. You'll agree with me that you've had some people in different, some contractors in different uh, counties complain mm -hmm. of uh, delayed payments mm -hmm. and others are enjoying billions of money, getting paid immediately, actually even before they do their work. Mm. Some of the works that we that, or contracts that are claimed to have been awarded are false. Mm -hmm. I have seen a county that I won't mention today mm -hmm. uh, that has uh, claimed to have dug, um, uh, you know, about sixty boreholes mm. uh, in different uh, constituencies. Mm -hmm. I mean, go there, you Why can't even you see one. Uh, because I think that it's not subject for the debate today, and I'm told it's a matter that is in court. I don't want to be okay. accused of subjudice. And uh, <laughs> it's a good way to hide. Carry on. <laughs> exactly. And uh, we've also seen some spending money on uh, what we, we, they call, uh, you know, uh, the stadium, you know, uplifting stadiums, mm -hmm. local stadiums in uh, constituencies. That does not happen. What they do, they come up. With the, they come with graders, you know, and excavators, mm -hmm. and launch something there, do something, and women clap and sing and say our governor is working and go out. What you're seeing here 
should be reflected all over. And I'm, I can tell you, the very first time that uh, these governors went to office, most of them, and that's why you've actually seen much of these problems mm -hmm. happening, uh, you know, uh, being Since issues to do with 2013, 2017. Right. If all these Ask people goodness. are investigated, all of them, between 2013 and 2017, I'll tell you that all of them will be in jail. All of them. But, but, but why, why can't the oversight uh, institutions, talking about the county assembly, talking about the national assembly and the senate, why are they not able to bring out these issues as they happen in real time so that you do not have to try to play catch up when it's too late? The problem we are having with our country is that we are actually a reactive state. And uh, every person is corrupt by their own way, mm -hmm. in their own right. And in as much as uh, uh, we say we've got auditors in different offices, mm -hmm. auditors will come to the office and say, okay, fine, this is what you've realized. There, there are some, this audit query, mm -hmm. meet our part of Bagain. If you're not able to meet our part of Bagain, then mm -hmm. we are going to do this. Mm -hmm. That is what is affecting this country, that every person finds a route to actually uh, you know, channel his funds or rather grow himself rich. Mm -hmm. I do not really understand why. Mm -hmm. That is why I said I raised issue or suspicion on the topic today, on the headline today, because much of these things, although they say that, you know, in Swahili, that Sikyanyani Kufa to Teleza, we need to understand why much of these things did not happen, you know, or rather were not put in place last year. And but who cleared them for running to start with? But, but because I'm, I'm asking you a specific question. You come from Kisi County. South, yes, Kisi County. Uh, is there anything that you're able to do now to ensure that the resources that are sent to Kisi County, whether it's by the national government or the county government, are utilized in the right manner? Um, within my jurisdiction, uh, you know, I might not really do so much because, number one, I am not privy to the, uh, to the accounting records in the county. I am not privy to what, uh, you know, uh, is happening as much, you know, deeply. And especially on these governors that have been in office since 2013 mm -hmm. to now, who mm -hmm. perfected the art of hiding or putting their books well. Mm -hmm. And um, there is nothing much that a member of parliament can do as a member of parliament, uh, perhaps a senate. Can I step in? Can I help my, my good friend? I think, I think, there's uh, something I think that, that, the, the, the way to look at this mm -hmm. is to say that uh, they're, they're, they're structured institutions for oversight. Yes. Uh, the, the, the proper hierarchy for oversight of uh, the county the government, government is mm -hmm. the Senate. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should be asking, is Senate playing its proper oversight? Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the jury's still out on, on that. They're saying they need to be strengthened. They've been asking for more resources to do that. Um, on the other hand, uh, for the longest time you've seen from Wambora to everybody who's been summoned to go to the Senate, mm -hmm. they have always run to court and saying that these guys do not have the powers uh, to, 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 uh, to summon us. So when we go into uh, this process of relooking the Constitution, mm -hmm. maybe we need to, 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 to look at that uh, provision. What are the proper uh, screws and nuts that we need to tighten mm -hmm. so that we do not appear to have devolved corruption and then give Senate the teeth to be able to do that? Mm -hmm. The weak, weakest link, I will give the Senate the benefit of the doubt. With mm -hmm. proper uh, screw, I mean tightening of the screws, Senate will be able to properly uh, oversight. I think the weakest link is the county assembly, mm -hmm. in my view. Mm -hmm. And county assembly have become part of the business gravy train that is county government. And you've seen speakers being impeached. It's not about anything. It's about resources. Either the speaker of the county assembly has refused to play ball. Trips have not been done. Mm -hmm. They are running over each other, the county assembly uh, members, trying to get contracts. So when are they going to be able to oversight? And this brings me to the point, mm -hmm. do we need to think the level of education, and with all due respect to, to, to our colleagues at the county assembly, they are legislators. They make law. Do they understand that their role of oversight requires that they understand at the level of legislation making mm -hmm. that they will be able to appreciate the laws and the laws that are able to make them have the teeth to put the county executive on its feet? Mm -hmm. So I think then lastly right. that we need to recharacterize the debate. And I want to agree with my good friend for once on this debate mm -hmm. that... Um, <laughs> The, the focus on Obado mm. really misses the point. This thing is about the mm -hmm. entire audit of the county governments and 
the use or misuse of resources. Right. So mm -hmm. for, for, for whatever reason they chose to focus on Obado, I think it's perhaps unfair. Mm -hmm. This thing cuts across. If you were to do an audit on the one hand of what devolution has done, mm -hmm that actually is tangible and he's mentioned the hospital where the deputy president was giving 20 million and the governor there was clapping the only thing and then and i'm finishing i can hear him dunga dunga ring me at maliza the only thing the only tangible development that you can see at the constitu at, at, at any level right. is the one that is done by cdf which mm. then as, um, makes me wonder when we talk about referendum and people are saying Punguza Mzigo means reduce the constituencies. When the county governments can show nothing and are eating every single penny that we send, I think we need to recharacterize this debate. All right, so let's finally, Munene. I think I'm seated in two, with two friends who really like giving lectures instead of responding to issues. <laughs> Which is Which okay, is that's part of what we have You can just do. give lectures here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, with a lot of respect. But <laughs> thanks for once you have agreed. I response. For once you have, my, my friend Oruch has agreed that this headline today is choreographed, mm. which is very genuine of him. Mm. Because of yesterday's <laughs> visit by the deputy <laughs> president, for once Oruch has become very genuine, my brother. Is the focus of your debate on Oruch? <laughs> so what I want, <laughs> I want to say is that our greatest problem <laughs> in this corruption <laughs> issue is I, would, I don't want to blame the Office of the Auditor General. I don't want to blame the county assemblies. The, our greatest weakness is our court. It's our judiciary. Because mm -hmm. when we sit here as members of parliament mm -hmm. and the say county assemblies are weak, what have we done as members of parliament also to check the national government? Because mm -hmm. that is our duty. Because in different committees in parliament, and my brothers will bear me witness with this, reports, corruption reports come in parliament, we deal with them as committees. Mm -hmm. What happens after that? Because we call ministers, we call PSAs in parliament, they are, all, they are always there. Mm -hmm. We tell them there is corruption here, maize has been stolen here, this road money was stolen here. Mm -hmm. But once you finish all that exercise as a parliament, mm -hmm. where it goes after that, it are dead dead. So it becomes like a, a, a rotation. We, we call cabinet secretaries. The same corruption case that was investigated by, a, by the Lord's Committee last parliament, mm -hmm. even the 10th parliament, mm -hmm. the 11th parliament will, will, will investigate it. The 12th of the parliament will continue investigating it, but no action will be taken. So, 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 you're, I, so, I, so, so you're saying it's a continuation of the lectures. Now we need our to court, our <laughs> court, uh, there is a great weakness yeah. in our... In the our lecture continues. Okay. The lecture uh, continues. We need to take a break <laughs> from the lectures. Sorry, sorry. I, I want to just to blame <laughs> No, no, okay. Osoro, we'll okay. have to take a break. When you okay. return, we'll be continuing the discussion mm -hmm. and also talking about uh, the, the news that uh, now maize will be costing 2,300 uh, every 90 kilogram bag. And of course, the whole concept about strategic food reserve and where the country goes. After this, you can tweet us at Citizen TV Kenya or you can uh, tweet me at Sam Gituku. You may also text us at 22422 on the questions and feedback that you may have to share with the panelists here. Back in a moment.